quick things to note about cannons is they have very high alpha damage, meaning the amount of damage they do in one shot, but it's countered by high reload speed. This means that they're best at mid to long range, as you will have to worry about the reload speed more at close range, with long range allowing you to duck behind cover. Other things to note about cannons is how it's necessary to have ammo packs mounted. Otherwise, without ammo packs, you'll run out of ammo very quickly halfway through the battle and be no help to your team. It's important to armor ammo packs, and I'd recommend setting them under your vehicle as opposed to in the back or front. This makes it much harder for guns to hit them in a lucky shot. Having your ammo pack hit can end your game very quickly, and potentially in a single hit. I've had many games where I end someone's turn very quickly by getting a lucky shot on their ammo pack. I would go ahead and jump to some battles and show some tips on positioning, as well as where you should aim on enemy vehicles. Now this map's great, especially for cannons, because you can have lots of positions where you can go. I personally like going up on this hill and shooting down, but it also looks like the enemy team is going to rush us from this angle, which may make it necessary to shoot from here instead. So it looks like most of the enemy team is coming through here. Hopefully I'll be able to hold them back. So looking immediately and taking some quick shots and ducking behind cover to reload, this mitigates the amount of time you're in the line of fire. Oh wow, so we have someone launching porcupine that we try and avoid. As well as more, it's probably important to focus people instead of bots, as bots generally don't tend to be the brightest. So I'm trying to focus down these people as quick as I can without taking too much damage and hopefully turn them back. So you get some lucky hits when you get more structural pieces, so they have ammo packs. Right now it seems like we're taking a lot of damage from this other team. Okay, looks like we've won that counter. As you can notice at the top right of the screen, most of the enemy team is dead. But that doesn't mean it's over yet, as we still have to worry about the remainder. So I can go ahead and advance through here and try and help out with taking out the enemy team. Like, this person here. Good damage against them. Then we've got someone using a cyclone, charging up their shot, or porcupines being fired. try and avoid those porcupines, as those will screw me over pretty bad if I get hit. Getting a good cabin hit on him will pretty much ending their game. Uh-oh. Oh, those are those new mines. Do not like those. Just, like, try and shoot them out. Yep. That's not good. Well, he missed all his porcupine shots, which means I'm probably safe to come in and do some damage. He only has one porcupine left, which is gonna hit me. Hopefully I can... Okay, well it hit my ammo box, but other than that, that was a pretty good game. This map, it's good because you have lots of hills you can look over. I like to see myself looking over the neutral base and try to find ranged cover to my team. Okay, we have one other person running triple executioners. Uh, someone with machine guns. Uh, not too many bots this game, which is convenient. I have a slight advantage here is over the enemy team because they're mostly in the 6k power range and I'm in the 8k, which should make this a pretty easy game. Oh, we got a missile hover over there. Those can be very annoying to deal with. So I can try and get him out early. Now, I don't like having to deal with missiles with cannons as it's a little bit harder to shoot them down with cannons than machine guns. But if I get over here, I can take out his hover, making it very hard for him to move. And I'm gonna do some quick shots on people going for the cap. And then I'm getting hit by a cannon and I'm not really sure where, so I'm gonna move off of the hill. And hopefully finish off this very light car that missed. Looks like this person has lost all of his weapons, which should make him an easy target. But I have bigger priorities and the person with the triple executioner is right over here. So I can try and position myself to the side of him to prevent him from being able to get his guns on me. So I have basically crippled his vehicle and should be able to take him out, dodging those missiles. Now he's still a threat as he still has one gun remaining, so it's going to be important for me to take him out. Okay, so his guns are all gone at this point, which should make it pretty easy to finish him off. So, yep, that's a good kill and victory. So it's important, I like aiming for the bottom of enemy vehicles, as that's often where they store ammo packs as well as wheels, but it's also important to take out guns, which should be your first priority. So on this map, I'm going to try and hide behind this ship here, and then fire down over the enemy. 
and to get sticky with my teammates to prevent being ambushed in a melee fight, which I'll likely lose. So sticking right here will take a good spot, and I'll be able to hopefully get some good one range hits on enemies. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you should generally build cannon builds. So just generally with all cars in general, you want to put any valuable parts or exploding parts under the cabin. So I like to make an open frame like this, which gives you plenty of space under it. So here you have enough space to mount the engine and ammo pack if you so wanted. So if I was making this a cannon build, I'd go ahead and get ammo packs. And I could set up one in the back and then just put as many as you feel that you need. And this problem would be much harder to hit them if you had just put it on the front. This allows you to hide a lot of your important parts out of view of opponents, as well as making them a lot harder to hit. And then you can put it under the cabin to make it further make it harder to hit like that. So this allows you to have a pretty well armored car, and then you can just go ahead and go further and armor the sides of it, because if you get a shot, lucky shot from the bottom of an explosive weapon, it can enter game really quickly. So just adding some armor around it also goes a long way. This allows you to protect your car from a lot of damage that you would otherwise take. And by putting it under the cab, you decrease the likelihood of getting one shot by a lucky cannon blow. I hope you all enjoyed this beginner guide. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.